Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be going over five different methods to measure a wound. But first, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel. Okay, so there is five methods that you can use to measure a wound. But you want to find out what policy or how everyone is measuring within your company because consistency is key across the board so one person can't be measuring one way and then somebody else measuring another way measurements will be all off in that way and I mean they're not going to be like that substantial but enough where it's really hard to tell if a wound is actually healing because sometimes it's just millimeters um, and just that millim that few millimeters is quite a lot of a percentage of a wound when it comes to the total surface area of that wound um, but these are the five different ways that you can measure a wound but please go by the policy that your company uses okay so first we're going to go over the greatest length and the greatest width method so this method is um, once again taking the greatest lengths and the greatest widths okay so I need my little pointer here um, it doesn't go by um, anatomical position okay like some of the other methods do so this is you just find the greatest length you start at one side and go all the way to the complete opposite edge okay and you have that measurement and then you find in the opposite direction the greatest width okay um, so as you can see here they found the greatest length and the greatest width so yes there's a width here too but this is the biggest width down here so that's where they're going to measure okay um it's not always a 100 percent 90 degree but it's it's pretty close to a 90 degree um from the length okay so sometimes you have to angle it a little bit different um but it's it's almost that 90 degree to find the largest length and the widest width okay okay so next we have our clock method um, so for this method we're going to picture a face of a clock and the head of the person is at the 12 o'clock and the toes are at the six o'clock okay so say if you can see this wound that we have right here on the hip um, you would measure from 12 to 6 okay so that's the length and the width would be from 3 or from 9 to 3 or 3 to 9 okay so from 12 to 6 3 to 9 okay and then you also do need a depth so for all wounds you always grab a depth um, I'll go over this a little bit more um, a few slides from now so next we have our photo documentation. So photos can be taken to document wound healing. However, photos are really difficult um, to accurately show the size of a wound unless you're placing a ruler. So I did put the wound here with a ruler here. So you have a whole lot better idea because with zoom on cameras, you're never going to get it 100% perfect. So it's really, really hard unless you have this measuring tool here that it still isn't 100%, but it will show over time um, a wound is healing, okay? Um, and then just make sure that you're also getting consent before taking any pictures of a wound. Um, most of the time, this is just used to assist um, measurements okay so you can see it it's always nice to have measurements and then a little a tool that you're seeing the differences um, so most of the time we're not using this alone 
Next, we have our wound tracing. So a marker or a pen is used to trace the outline of a wound directly onto a transparent um, sheet or film, okay? So it is a sterile transparent sheet or film. Um, it is then just put on to um, a white sheet of paper so you can see it and track. Um, it can be hard to determine the exact border when you're tracing it. So some, it's, it's not 100% accurate either. I mean, every, every one of these has its faults as long as we're doing this consistent, okay? That's the biggest thing. As long as everybody's consistently doing it the same, um, we will be able to tell if it is if the wound is getting smaller. Okay, so to measure the depth now. So to measure the depth, we want to um, insert a pre-moistened um, cotton tip applicator. So you pre-moisten it with normal saline or sterile water just to the point of resistance. So right in the base of the wound, you are going to put it in the deepest part of the wound. So the deepest part is always measured in the wound. And you're just going to hold it perpendicular to the surface here. So you put your fingernail right across, okay? And then you leave your fingernail there on that exact spot. And when you take it out, you're going to put it against your measuring tool. And that's how you find out the exact measurement um, for the depth of that wound. So I hope this video did help you have a better understanding of all the different methods um, that can be used to measure a wound. Once again, please just use uh, whatever your company policy states um, and just consistency across the board with all of um, the healthcare professionals that are measuring wounds. Um, so that's all I have for this video, guys, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.